Hello, this is Vern, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing three principles and five feminine attitudes or ways of being that can allow you to touch his heart deeply and make it a no-brainer for him to fall in love with you. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com. If this is your first time here and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. The first thing I'd like to define for purposes of this video is what I am describing as a healthy process of falling in love. Because when you think about it, the guy's gonna fall in love with you, or you're gonna fall in love with him, Typically, that refers to a strong feeling of chemistry, explosions of the heart, visceral feeling of excitement. But is it really love? Is it really falling in love with someone when there's missing elements? And in my idea of falling in love, at least my invitation to you today, is that you incorporate these five elements so that you don't fall prey to some feeling of illusion or some infatuation that doesn't stand the test of time. So the first element of love is chemistry. You definitely want to feel those butterflies, that excitement, that passion. If it's, you don't feel that, then it's a great friendship, but without the feeling of falling in love. So that chemistry piece is important, but that's where many of you right now are just dropping it. You're just staying at the high level of chemistry without really going to the next step, which is friendship. Why friendship? Because you cannot have a long-lasting relationship without friendship, especially if it's an intimate relationship. So friendship is part of it. Depth is part of it. Why? Because with depth comes the feeling of being seen, witnessed, understanding someone, being understood, going to beyond surface level into what makes you tick and what makes you unique. Next one is compatibility. Why? Because if you fall in high excitement and start creating a friendship with someone, it's impossible to sustain a friendship with someone who's highly incompatible with you. It just doesn't happen, or the friendship will suffer, or your friendship will be more distant. So chemistry, friendship, depth, compatibility, the last one is commitment. Why commitment? Because when you say, I want someone to fall in love with me, you're really saying I want that to sustain through time. You're hardly ever saying that I want him to fall in love with me for the weekend, and then I hope he forgets about me. It's really rare that you have that philosophy if you're watching my videos. So there you have it. That's the invitation that I have for you right now, that you expand on your definition of falling in love. And if one or two elements of this are not present, that you really step back and say, is this really love and is this really what I want long term for me? The second principle I want to share with you is that falling in love is not something that happens once. It's a constant process. It's a constant commitment. It's a constant discipline. And it's a constant giving and receiving. And the reason why this is so important is because as I'm sharing with you, I want for a guy to fall in love with you, I want for him to continue falling in love with you, which means the principles that I'm sharing with you right now are not just do it once and you're set for life, like so many people attempt to propose that it's possible. This is a lifelong commitment to living your best and most authentic, most expressive life. The third principle is this 5% rule. Pareto's principle, some people call it, and they usually call it 80-20. I have determined in my experience of life, especially as it relates to relationships and things that matter, that it's really 5.95. So 5% of the things you do create 95% of the results in your life. 5% of the people in your life create 95% of the greatness and 95% of the pain. Before I go into my five feminine attitudes that will cause a guy to break his heart open and fall in love with you, I'd like to invite you, if you want to take the concept of this video farther than I can explain on this video, and you want to understand how you can get this concept, not just in your head, but in your heart and your life experience, make sure to hit the first link on the description of this video so you can start watching my free training. You'll see a page that looks like this. You enter your name and email, and you can watch my masterclass on how you can actualize the concepts of any of the videos that you're watching into a transformation. The first concept, attitude. If you want men to fall in love with you, it seems so basic, but I have to spell it out. You have to fall in love with your life. I can't emphasize it strongly enough. So many of the women who reach out to me and have this secret wish of finding a guy who falls in love with them head over heels have an unrealistic wish because when you take a dip down into their lives, they're not in love with what they do. They're not in love with their environment. They're not in love with their friendships. They're not in love with who they've become. So in essence, you're taking a, let's say, a planter that is really, really big, 
right? And you're saying, I want you, man, to fill this planter with a little plant that's this size, right? So the plant this size is what you're offering right now in terms of how much love you have in action for who you are and your environment. And you're saying, you please complete me. Please make me whole. Please save me from my despair and save me from my pain. And it's so unlikely that that will happen. And if you feel like it's happening, it's so unlikely that it will last. Why? Because like attracts like. If you want for a guy to fall in love with you, you have to be willing first to fall head over heels in love with your life. So here's where the 5% principle applies. What are the things that are most relevant and important and visceral to you that if you start practicing them, you can start falling in love with your life. And on the other side of the coin is, what are the things you must eliminate or radically reduce, including human beings, that will allow you to flourish? Because it's hard to start falling in love with your life if you have five human beings who don't believe in you, who belittle you, who disrespect you, and who are constantly in your, for in your forefront. It's just not gonna happen. So the two things you need to do is focus on what are the things that would make your life a masterpiece? What do you enjoy doing? So you start doing more of that. And who do you need to eliminate in your life or radically reduce contact with? The second feminine attitude is courage. And yes, I am describing it as a feminine attitude in this specific way. To understand what are your musts, but not just your musts, but your musts based on possibility. That to do things that are challenging for a small vision because they feel they can only get this. A guy who respects me and a guy who is not in debt, for example, or not a financial wreck. Okay, well, those are basic things that you want, but please tell me you want more than that. So when you have the courage to understand what you want, not based on what you think you can get, but based on what you know is possible, based on your highest self, based on your greatness, then you can start looking for that. The third attitude is expressing your magic traits in action. So if the second, the third point goes directly connected to the second point, because the second point is courage to understand your musts and to expect them. The third one is expressing your matching traits. Why? So that you are a match to that which you're seeking. For example, the first example I shared is if you're not in love with your life, but you're expecting for someone to fall in love with you, that's a tall order. If you're saying, I want a guy who's confident and you're really insecure, that's a mismatch. I want a guy who's strongly in his masculine and you're not strongly in your feminine. It's a mismatch. I want for a guy to really love what he's doing, but you hate your job and are not doing anything to change it. Then you're asking the universe and you're asking the world to give you something that you are not yet a match for. And if you really want to start getting this concept faster than you ever thought possible and allowing men to fall in love with the best parts of you is start living your best life. Start expressing those things that are either the natural sister or brother to the trait that you have or the opposite in the case of masculine versus feminine. Next one is invite with your heart, but don't push. So imagine you're in a concert. There's a long line and you want to get to your seat and people are desperate. And instead of waiting for their turn, they start pushing you and shoving you and you feel like you might move faster because someone's pushing you, but will you be happy and will you stand for it? The answer is probably no. Now imagine that same concert that somebody instead of pushing you creates a lemonade stand because it's really hot outside and says lemonade stand open, anyone's thirsty, come here, get it. Well, if you're thirsty, you will find a way to get there faster than if you have no incentive to get to a specific destination. Right? So just like the concept of the concert pushing versus the lemonade stand that naturally makes someone want to connect with that energy, you need to be from coming from the same place where you know what you want, you're showing up strong and connected and open, but you're not twisting a guy's arm, you're not texting him into submission, you're not ultimatum him, you're not sending ultimatums to him to get him to act the way you want to. You have an open invitation for him to show up. And if he doesn't show up, you know how to move on. You know how to set a boundary. You know how to express what you need without coercion, without any type of guilting into something. And the best way I found for you to have the capacity to not have to push a guy to doing things he's not ready for is to 
develop more options, which leads me straight into point number five, and that is worth. Worth is the fifth feminine attitude that will help a guy to really see you as a prized, incredible being that he needs to become better to have a chance to earn her heart. Uh, and worth in this specific way. The worth you need to have is such that inner feeling of if you need to walk away, it may not be fun, it may be painful, but you can and will walk away, right? That's a feeling of worth when you understand that there's things that you want and you need, and if those things are not met, you're not making the guy wrong for them, but you're also not standing there to be disrespected or to have your needs half met. So you have to be willing to express your needs, you also have to be willing to walk away if they're not met, and the guy is unwilling to change his behavior in a way that would be healthy for the relationship. You also have to be willing to understand that you are wanted by more than just one person. You're going to choose to give attention to men who honor you and who want the things you want. So in principle, if you're dating, and hopefully you're dating more than one guy at a time at the beginning before you're exclusive, then you need to understand that you are wanted. And if you carry that inside of you, if you carry inside the feeling that you're genuinely wanted, that you are worthy, that you're a prize, and the guy chooses because he senses that in you, that he doesn't want to lose you, that he doesn't want somebody else to have that privilege of owning your heart, and he wants to step up, then he'll step up. If he can't or he won't, then you'll still get what you want because you're opening your options to more than just one person who hasn't yet proven himself to be the best match for you. So hope these principles and these attitudes are helpful to you. Uh, if you want to take this further, as I shared earlier, hit the first link in the description of this video and you'll start watching my free training. If you enjoy this video, please click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and you will be notified of new episodes as they come out by hitting the little bell. Last but not least, if you want my help and hand holding to actualize these concepts beyond videos, beyond anything you can read, but the actual help and guidance that can help you attract your ideal life partner in a fraction of the time, then second link will allow you to reach out to me. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.